Good afternoon, NCCP and friends. Hi, Pastor John, and hi to everybody at home. Hello, Pastor Melissa. We've had a nice and productive day and a great week of rain around here. And so we thought maybe we were going to have to build an ark, uh, but we have made it to Friday and we're looking forward to Sunday. And Sunday is going to be exciting around the parish. Uh, first of all, there will be a special celebration, a rally day at the Greenmount location where the Itzel family is going to be celebrating through music. Um, and then also at St. John's, we see the first week we will have a contemporary service at 9 and the traditional at 11 a.m. And those will be services remembering September 11th, as will the service at Grace at 10:30. So, so all over the parish there is going to be special worship. And the day. rally days are really, really exciting and so if you want to catch the rally day at Greenmount and with the Itzel family that's at 9:45. But suppose you don't want to miss the message of the week. Well, then you can go to any of the other locations. <laughs> so, this um, might be a multi worship weekend for you and your family, and be sure to uh, see if you can map that out. We've done it, and uh, you can do it too, I think. It works out uh, pretty well where you could get two services in this week if that was your pleasure. Um, and so, maybe we'll see a couple of you multiple times this week. Um, coming up uh, in the next week, we have the first of our special small group gatherings. So young adults, get it on your calendar. If you have a young adult in your life that you need us to prompt a little bit more, September the 15th, that's Thursday night at 7 p.m., we're going to have our mixer at our house. So we hope that that is well attended. That's post-high school age and preferably without kids because we'll have a special one later for uh, families or young adults with kids. That's right. And moving on into October, we're going to be having a missions emphasis throughout the month. Uh, but specifically, we are going to be uh, encouraging people to participate in Change the World Weekend, which is happening denomination-wide the weekend of the 8th and 9th. So we hope that you will get involved in, in missions in a very small way or a very big way, uh, starting with your neighbor next door even. That's right. And if you wanted to work with others or work with a group, I know, for example, like Renee Rada uh, was interested in teaming up or at least organizing a team uh, parish-wide uh, to maybe tackle a, a larger project and uh, her contact information is on the web uh, to see if, if, if that's your pleasure you know be sure to look her up um, but again um, no projects too small to change the world um, also that same weekend and some other <coughs> times during the month there is a special plea from uh, Reg Reverend Roger Bertner, who was a great missionary and um, someone who has influenced my faith. He's actually leading a couple of extra teams over to serve to, in New Windsor to help with packing and unpacking disaster relief kits. Of course, we know with, uh, with all the disasters that have been happening around the country and around the world, there's always a need for some of those health kits. Um, so if you have time, and uh, I know we already send a lot of volunteers over there um, through, throughout the month, but if you'd like to do an extra week, uh, th there will be information on the web. Right. And we will be updating the missions tab of the website, so be sure to check back there sometime this weekend. That will be updated with all these dates we're talking about for mission opportunities. But closer to home, uh, you'll have an opportunity to serve your neighbor, both locally and around the world, through a blood drive. This is a parish-wide effort. Uh, that Jane is organizing at Grace, and uh, but it's for all three churches in terms of looking for volunteers and getting the word out. Uh, and so that is on October the 1st from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Check the website, and there'll be inserts in your bulletins for that as and well. And it's, it's easy to help at a blood drive. You can either roll up your sleeve and donate blood, or if you're not into that, like Pastor John is in, <laughs> sometimes you, uh, we need people who can walk the donors from place to place and people who can staff the canteen and help to, to make treats uh, to get their nourishment back up after they've donated. Um, and also the crop walk, I'll do that. Uh, the crop walk to stamp out hunger is going to be October 16th at Cape Horn Park. So uh, we'll be, we have these flyers available if you want to get people to donate and um, support you as you walk around the park there. Uh, we could just put together a great team from around the parish to share in this ministry. And again, always, as always, an ongoing project here for the parish is NESAP. 
um, in these times and these days, uh, that need um, is there, and they have needs uh, at NESAP. The newsletter uh, that NESAP puts out uh, was just uploaded to our website. It's on the News and Information tab. Be sure to check that out if you want to read what's going on in NESAP. So lots going on with missions and worship and other things around the parish. So please check out the web, and uh, we hope to see you on worship on Sunday. May God bless you and your family this weekend. Amen. God bless. Amen.